Hey everybody, I'm Josh. I'm Jace. We're here to watch Yugi Toss, episode 77. Loopy in the sky Loopy with Loopy in the sky with Doogies. No, it's um it's a it's a play on that one song, like Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. L S D. So this is this is the episode where Kaiba Duels. L S double D. Yes. <laughs> this is the episode where Kaiba duels Alistair. What does Kaiba do? He um he fuses Critias with a trap card called I think it's a real trap card. Was it Transcendence Wings? Yes, it is. Or tyrant wings. No, ty tyrant wings. Yes. Transcendence wings. Is because the thing. you use that to summon tyrant burst dragon, which yeah. is, which I think is the one version of a uh, Critias that gets equipped to another monster. Yeah, because I remember he fuses that allowing, with, with his blue eyes, allowing them to attack three times. Mm. Actually, you know what? I'm looking it up. Excuse me. And then I remember. Yeah, tra I said transcendent. Transcendence. Oh Transcendence wings is the thing that turns wing Karibo into wing Karibo level ten. Which is OP as fuck. Okay, Tyrant Ring allows uh, is uh, it tre you treat it as an equip card, but it's a trap card instead. It increases attack and defense by four hundred, and it allows them to attack twice during uh, each battle phase. But if it attacks, it Tyrant Ring is destroyed. So it only works once. Well, you can attack twice during that battle phase. Okay. At the end of the turn, it's destroyed. Or at the end of the battle phase. Yep, and then okay. there's Tyrant Burst Dragon. This card can attack all your opponent's monsters once each. You can target one face up monster you control. You equip this monster to the target. It gets 400 attack. Also, it can make three attacks during each battle phase. Huh. Alright. So Let's go. Can, so you combine that with some shit like a Fairy Meteor Crush or like a really. Junk Barrage. There you go. Alright. Let's go. You, see, you said this is kind of what was it, like a blank episode, or what were you feeling? You were numb. I kind of, I kind of get what you were feeling during the middle there because it was. Uh, I don't, I don't, Josh, what? just say yes or no. Do you know what the Mile High Club means? Yes. Oh boy. It's just him holding the unconscious guy. I am now a member of the Mile High Club. What are you guys? Molly's carrying a guy what? out. He's, he's like, <laughs> why are you all staring at me? Kaiba, do you know what the Mile High Club is? Yeah, it's when you beat a guy in a card game while on a plane. No, that's. Actually, yes, that's exactly what it is. My high club! <laughs> <laughs> Said Okaiba, you are too much. I was bit. I was like, this episode is. Uh, I, I consider this episode kind of a little bit boring. Until I kind of got that. I kind of got that. Yeah, the end. end. <laughs> Said Okaiba, yes! Yes! How could they hear him? He was screaming so loudly. <laughs> uh, like, oh, that, that was me. Now, remember when we saw Zombie Land Two, and the like, zombie kill of the century was the Italian guy or whatever, knocking over the Tower of Pisa onto some zombies? That was me. I was screaming yes in the theater. <laughs> I got up. Remember, I stood up. I was like, yes, yes. For those of you, those of you who uh, have seen Josh's crack vids, he's notorious for cheering in theaters, and you'll know this because uh, the way he edited. Um, this is far from home. No, no. Okay. Yeah, when we when we saw we saw Far From Home, Spider-Man Far From Home in theaters, and there's a now you might want to go and see how he uh, made a crack vid for uh, Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Josh one hundred percent. Josh one hundred percent edited Far From Home. Oh yeah, just the movie starts with just all the dead people. And I will always love you. And I remember I saw it with Emily before I saw it with you. And I was like, me and she looks at me, she's like, <laughs> that joke doesn't come from me. She's like, she, she just dead ass looked at me. She's like, Josh, did you edit this movie? <laughs> like, not, it's just completely straight faced. It was amazing. And then at the end, uh, it was when it was revealed that they were scrolls. I just got up and I was like, everyone was like, what? I was like, I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> After that whole illusion bullshit, I was like, so thrown off. I was like, I'm done. I'm fucking done. Right. Patreon is a thing. It exists. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I'm Jace. I'm Josh. We'll see you guys in the next one.